Hello, welcome back to our last uh, part of the topic of adding and subtracting rational expressions. So up until now we've done lots of good problems. Here in this lesson it'll be the exact same thing, but we're going to send the problem complexity a little bit off to the hard end of the spectrum. But I do want you to work through these because doing hard problems is a really good way to get your skills where they need to be. Just like playing, playing basketball or football or any kind of sport, when you challenge yourself and flex your muscles, you get better, much, much better than if you were to just take it easy. So in math, it's the same thing. Let's take a look at the first problem here in our list. We have uh, x minus y raised to the negative 1 power minus x plus y also raised to the negative 1 power. Now, if you remember, negative powers just means you take it and move it in the denominator and make it a positive power. So this really becomes 1 over x minus y uh, you can, to the first power. I'll leave it uh, alone there because it's implied first power there. And then 1 over x plus y here, again, to the invisible positive power there. So I just move them downstairs, basically. And now I need to find a common denominator. So I have x minus y, x plus y. There's nothing obvious I can multiply one or the other fraction by. So what you need to do if you don't have any other recourse is the common denominator to use is just the product of the two individual denominators. So to see that more clearly, I'm going to write it like this. The first fraction I'll write out is x minus y here. And then I'll subtract from that the second fraction, which will be x plus y. So what I'm going to do is take this first denominator here and multiply by the other one, which will be x plus y. Of course, when I do that, I have to multiply the top by x plus y. Okay, And then I'll take this one and multiply by the previous denominator, x minus y. That's what I mean by the new common denominator is the product of the original denominators, the product of what we had here. Take this, multiply by this, take this, multiply by this, and then you have a common denominator every time. Okay, So then what we have is on the answer, what we're going to have is this is the new common denominator, x minus y, x plus y. Now the numerators have to be subtracted. So this is just times 1. So we just have x minus, I'm sorry, x plus y. Then we minus this guy. But this negative gets distributed in. It's like an invisible negative 1 going into the x, making it negative x. And this going into the negative y, making it positive y, so plus y. So you have to be very careful when you're subtracting to distribute that guy into whatever's on the top. Then we have something very close to our final answer. We see, though, that the x will cancel with the negative x. So the x's go away. So what we have at the end of the day is y plus y, which is just 2y. And on the bottom, we're going to have x minus y times x plus y. 2y over x plus 